All right, here it is the first part of March and it is feeling like spring. We're calving right now. We're starting to get the high tunnel prep. So today, working on a couple of projects. First, let's go and check the cows, see if we got any new baby calves. Then we're gonna come and start working on the soil in the high tunnel, getting it ready for the garden. We're headed into the calving pasture to check on cows as there's a few that are close. It's a nice sunny 44 degrees this morning. So if anybody's calving or has calved, it's a great day to do so. So let's go see what we got. Okay, so going through here, there's nobody over there near the shelter, does it look like? Okay, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four over there. Let's see what else we got over here. There's one down at the bottom right over here. Black Baldy got that white mark on its head. So like what I like to do now is just go ahead and check that calf out, make sure it's doing okay, take an assessment of mom, and then figure it out whether or not it's a steer, or a, figure out whether or not it's a bull or a heifer. All right, I can tell just looking at a distance, that's a little bull calf. So 1549 cow had a little bull calf here this morning. He's probably less than an hour old. Now he's trying to get in there, he's trying to nurse. This isn't her first calf, so she's had experience with calves before. So, so at this point, just let her keep nursing him, let her get him dried off, and then check on him throughout the day. It's supposed to get to 60 degrees today, so it's a great day to have a baby calf today. So another calf here, uh, there's 801 cow and her baby in the background there. All right, so I'll let him get nursed, dried off, and then I'll have to grab an ear tag and we'll come back and tag him here in a bit. But uh, let's go and check on the rest of the cows here. Make sure nobody else is calving, or getting ready to calve, which if they are, I hope they are. It's a great day to do it, a nice warm day. All right, this girl just hanging out there. She's getting close. She's close, but not calving at the moment. All right, so quick cow check there. I'm gonna go back to the house, grab some breakfast, and then I'll round up an ear tag, come back down here, we'll get that little guy tagged. So I like to get them tagged before they get too old, like within the first day. Otherwise, they're hard to catch at that point. All right, brought the family down here. So back down here at this cow, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a tag, or him, I should say, the calf a tag. All right, so here is the tagger and the tag. All right, so this little guy's got some new swag, so he's identified, we know what he is, what number he is now, and he's getting right off good, it's gonna be a warm day, so he's gonna have a nice day today. Is this when I get attacked? All right, we're down here in the high tunnel today. So I got these big doors right here opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the skid steer and the rototiller to go in there and 
kind of kill out some of that cover crop I got coming up in there and then bring some compost in here, incorporate that, and then we can start planting even more into the high tunnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the skid steer and the rototiller. It's gonna be kind of a, a process to do this here today because I'm gonna bring the tiller down here, till this up, terminating the cover crop, over here on this side of the high tunnel, it's kind of a harder, more compacted soil over there. So I wanna kind of get that broken up a little bit, kind of a little bit of a clay pan, then take off the rototiller, put on the bucket, grab some compost, bring that back in here, smooth it out, and then incorporate that again. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, that's what we're doing today inside the high tunnel. All right, that's tilled up there, terminating the cover crop. And you saw over here, it's a little hard in some spots. So there is a clay pan down below trying to break this up. Trying to get that clay pan broken up as we would eventually like to switch to a no-till system in here. However, to get started, we're trying to get that, that clay pan kind of broken up and we need to incorporate some compost in here as well. So at this point, just starting out in the high tunnel, this is how we're starting out with that system. So now I'll run up grab the bucket for that, grab some compost, put over here, use that bucket to kind of back drag it, level it, and then see if I need to till it one more time. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is kind of get this leveled out because once I get done with it here today, it could stay like this if we don't till it again. So trying to get that clay pan broken up a little bit and then along with leveling this out. So that's what I'm working on right now is hauling in some compost from our compost pile to kind of fill into the low spots here, level it out. All right, taking a break for a minute from the skid steer and moving compost. I'm in the side by side right now. I'm gonna run down here. Looks like there's a cow getting close, so I'll, I'll show you guys what's going on there. I don't know if her water bag is out yet or if she's getting close or just laying there, what's going on, but we're gonna take a look here in a minute. All right, down here at the calving pasture, if you can see right over my shoulder there, that black cow with the white face, she just stood up. I think she's getting close, but let's take a look. Going through the gate here. Okay, so down here, it's getting a little bit exciting. This mama right here, sometimes when they go to calf, they get confused when there's another calf. 
We got Max the cow dog right here. He's got her all sorts of worked up. But as you can see, there's some discharge coming out her rear end. We'll take a look at that here. So generally when a cow goes to calf, she's gonna segregate herself from the rest of the herd and have that calf alone, which is where she was over there. She was alone, but the other baby calf was over there with her, which brought the other mama cow over there as well. See how she's mooing, she's snooping that other calf. Sometimes they do, thinking that could be theirs. So they get confused right before they go to have a baby, but she's definitely gonna have a baby today, it looks like. All right, so we'll go back, continue to work in the high tunnel here, then just kinda keep checking back on her. Man, it's about 50 degrees today, so it's a great day to have a baby calf. So there's never a dull moment here on the farm this time of the year for sure. All right, so this is our compost pile right here. So we actually make this. So it's cattle manure, chicken manure, rabbit manure, all mixed together in this pile. So on the far back there is the newest stuff. So the stuff towards the front is stuff that's composted down, ready to go, actually kind of looks like soil. That's what it looks like. So just going by the cow corral here as we're grabbing compost going to the high tunnel still I'm gonna check on this cow and see how she's doing So she did meander up here to the cow corral to the calving shed right here actually, which is a beautiful day She doesn't need it, but that's where she picked to be All right, see how she's got her tail lifted up like that. She's looking around She's trying to find a place to have this baby, but she's gonna calve soon So we'll keep checking back on her as we're going back and forth with this kid steer right here. It's kind of handy, she's right here. So we'll check back in a bit and uh, see how she's progressing.
All right, so I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Probably take a little bit of hand leveling with our landscape rake in there to get that kind of smoothed out, but uh, I think it's getting ready to go. Can start making some beds and stuff in there. In the meantime, let's get this back up to the barn and check on the cow and see how Miss Baldy Cow is doing if she is in labor yet. Well, I mean, she's in labor, I guess, but uh, if she has a baby out there yet. All right, so on the way back up with this, let me show you what I see here in the corral. So I did say earlier when cows go to calve, they usually uh, go into solitary and kind of go off by themselves and have a baby somewhere. Well, today that's not the case. She's not listening to the rules. Well, not all, not all cows do that, I guess, but she usually does. And a little bit about this cow right here, this black balding. She had her first calf last year, born in a snowstorm, very, very cold. That calf didn't end up making it. So better luck this year. It's a beautiful day to be having a baby calf. Let me show you what's going on with this cow. Okay, so what is happening is she's definitely in labor. As you can see right there, come out her back end, that's the water. So that's the water that came out and that's gonna come out before the baby calf. Once that breaks is when that calf is gonna start to be delivered. Sometimes, as I was saying earlier, when they go into labor, they get confused and think somebody else's baby is their baby just because their hormones and everything working right there. Not your baby. That's not your baby. Hey, let's show everybody your water bag. Okay, so there's the water bag. Meaning she's gonna be having a baby pretty soon. All right, so before I go and check on that cow again, I'm gonna grab one of these hay bales and go and stick it in the bale feeder down here over the hill where I've been feeding these girls at here for the past few weeks. So this hay right here is stuff that uh, my dad and I actually put up on his farm in the summertime. So it's a big round grass hay bale is what we feed them throughout the winter months. All right, let's take a look since we're down here at this girl right here. She's just all confused all over the place, going into labor, but doesn't know where she wants to have that calf. Still thinking that calf is her calf, but hopefully soon she'll figure it out and get a baby on the ground here. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these small bales right here and go and feed it to our replacement heifers over here because they're out of hay as well. All right, so checking down here again. She's still thinking that one calf is hers. The water bag is completely out, not broken yet, but uh, we'll continue to check back. I'd like to video her giving birth here, but uh, might just give her a little bit of time alone, let her settle down. Maybe the other mama cow will take that other calf away and uh, progress with having a baby here soon, hopefully. All right, so I've been up at the high tunnel getting those big doors shut up. Just came down here, guys, and let me show you what we got here. All right, freshly hatched or born calf right there. So I just missed this. I mean, it didn't take her long to get that calf squeezed out. So I'm gonna take a look, maybe see what it is, and then I'm gonna let her be for a bit and let her get this guy or gal cleaned up, licked off, and get him or her, or her to nursing. All right, I just checked. It's a baby bull calf, a black baldy bull calf. He's healthy. Like I said, I'm gonna let her clean him up, get him dried off, get him to nurse and come back, check on him. Make sure she's gonna be letting him nurse and all that good stuff, getting that colostrum into his body. So there you have it, folks. It was a great day here on the farm. We had two baby calves born today. Worked inside the high tunnel, getting that ready to get our garden planted. So spring is here. Beautiful weather right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not did so already. I'm gonna post another video right here that 
goes through me doing tours when it was really, really cold out and calving, checking on cows during that. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.